Welcome to the temple, everyone. My name is Tiffany Otara, High Priestess and Leading Master Teacher at the 144K Crystalline Temple of the Sacred Flames. In today's temple teaching, let's explore what is your role as one of the 144K lightworkers operating at this frequency of light, love, and ascension. In this realm, there are a lot of lessons, a lot of experiences, and sometimes they can become distractions. It is important to now realign yourself to the vibration of the indigo flame. The indigo flame helps you activate and realign yourself to divine power, divine will, and divine protection. You are here in this embodiment as a divine being of light, experiencing what it's like to be in this physical reality where limitations exist. What does it feel like to have 24 hours in a day? What does it feel like to have a physical body that eventually will run out of essences that you will shed upon your ascension? So right now, you are learning so much and observing so much. And sometimes it can be difficult. Sometimes it can be challenging as well. Look at every moment as an opportunity for enlightenment and for growth. Look at every opportunity as an opportunity to exercise gratitude. Every opportunity brings forth a level of wisdom that will forever serve your soul. Earth is a school. We learn so much skill on Earth. We learn how to take care of the physical body, how to take care of others. We learn various skills, communication skills, relationship skills. We are learning so much on this planet every single day. And so you are becoming a master of wisdom through the transmutation and practices of this knowledge. And because you have this conscious awareness, it is important to remember that you are not meant to fit in in this matrix. You're not meant to come into this matrix and to be part of that matrix. On the other hand, you're not here to escape the matrix or to resist the matrix at the same time. It is seeing with open, elevated consciousness what the matrix is, what is it, how it operates and what it does to other souls, other beings, and the ecosystem of Mother Earth. From there, through that exiting and conscious awareness of the matrix, you can then bring the mastery of your wisdom by re-entering the matrix as a master. A master is simply a student that have allowed themselves to go through the trial challenges of their path. A master never stop learning. A master understand that the journey itself is a process. It is an unfoldment. It is an evolution. The master also know that they are always connected to source. There is a benevolent force at play and that they innately have the sovereign power to exercise their spiritual ability in order to serve, to help others. A master is bountiful, resourceful, and capable and confident in their abilities in facing challenges. A master also know that you do not work alone. You have a whole array of team, guides, ancestors, elementals that work alongside with you. They are also countless of physically embodied light beings such as yourself and other people that are watching these same type of videos that have the intention to help anchor the higher timeline. You can gain more insights in what your role or your mission or your legacy is by asking what you would like to create as this embodiment. You can also ask and hone in within yourself which ascended master inspire you the most. Using myself as example, Bodhisattva Mother Quan Shi Ying Pusa is my spiritual guide and leader, and she has the quality of compassion, mercy, and forgiveness. One of her most well-known lifetime was her humanitarian efforts to help other people, to guide other people, and to support other people as best that she can. 
So knowing that she is the ascended master that I serve, then I am able to remind myself that these are the qualities that I need to embody. And her path is one of the paths that shall inspire me in this lifetime. This is how I was able to create a temple to train so many other light workers in activating their spiritual abilities because it is no longer about myself. It is about a grander mission, a grander legacy that we unite and team up with each other, utilizing what each other are good at and work as one. And thus knowing who your spiritual master teachers are will give you great insights of how to play and express your role as one of these light workers. For example, if one of your spiritual guide is Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael carries the frequency of power, will, and protection. Most likely you are someone as a light worker that have a very strong consciousness, very courageous, have a lot of leadership quality, have a little bit of fire within yourself as well. You're also very uh, integral and you value justice a lot. These qualities make you a very good leader, a good coach, a good healer in many capacity. Some of you work with, for example, Saint Germain. Saint Germain himself is a scholar and a connector. So having Saint Germain as one of your guide can also remind yourself on the soul level that you're someone that's really good at mediating, connecting, facilitating, and to link things together. So you might be someone that's really good at hosting conferences. You might not be the person that channel right away, but you might start off by linking and creating a platform where other light workers can exercise their gifts. And in my line of career, I've seen a lot of light workers go on this path first. And as they continue to link in more teachers and more speakers in their events, they themselves become teachers, speaker, and healer at the same time. So hone in to whoever your spiritual teacher is. Read about their incarnation on earth. What trials did they go through? What difficulties did they go through? Use their path as your inspiration. For your teacher will have known this path so much so that they are able to guide you on your path as one of these souls. Join us in the temple. Learn light codes from the dragons, Lemurian rose, seraphim angels, Learn light language, learn how to read the Akashic records, learn how to heal with Kuan Yin and so much more. Join me in my free monthly channeling workshops to open up your third eye and your spiritual gifts and also to check out my free opening to channel course below this video to get started. Much love everyone.